Good morning, guys. guys. Welcome back to CNC Life. I don't know what happened here. I was just going to get ready in the bathroom, and all of a sudden, the whole fam was here. Well, Jax is attached to the hip with you, and <laughs> I'm taking care of Iris right now. My <laughs> little babies. My babies, huh? All right, I'm going to get ready. I'm going to get ready. Good morning, guys. What is going on? As you can see, I got a haircut. It's about time. I literally have been needing a haircut for such a long time. And I feel like the world has been lifted off my shoulders. I actually would have gone shorter. I might go shorter next time. Uh, if you guys don't know, I, I cut my hair when I turned 18 years old. And I practically, every time I grow it out, I end up going, this is why I cut it. This is why I cut it. And so I went to a haircut place yesterday. And at first I was like, just trim it a little. Just trim it. And she trimmed it. And I was like, nope, cut the whole thing off. <laughs> <laughs> so she ended up cutting off quite a few inches and I am so much happier with it. It's just so much easier to maintain. I'll show you guys how I do it. It's so easy. But I'm going to get ready right now. It's a beautiful day outside. It's actually raining and it's cold out. I have these weird dots on my face. Honestly, honestly, if you guys know the answer, let me know. I've had these little dots around my eyes for months now and they will not go away. They're right here, these little red bumps here. And I also developed them on this side, which was also like new. Like I only had them on this side and now they have them on both sides. And I don't know what they are. And every time I like put my makeup over them, they end up just like showing through. And I think they're really weird. They don't like hurt. They're just like weird red bumps. First, I gotta put my tallow serum on it. I love this brand. I've been using it really consistently for almost a year probably. All of her products are made from tallow. Oh, and it feels amazing on your skin. And I feel like I have been breaking out less since using it, so I love it. It is from Root Apothecary. Root Apothecary, I think I've showed her before, actually. And I've definitely showed her on my Instagram before. Great small business, love supporting her. And then my makeup I've been using lately is RMS Beauty. I love it, I totally guessed on the coloring for my skin. And it ended up working out not that bad. This is the concealer I use. I just put this on my under eyes and anything that has little red bumps. And this guy. And anything around my chin. I feel like I just have a little breakout on my chin area. And then this is my foundation I'm using. I just put it on one of these and I just dab it on. I don't do anything crazy for makeup. I have never been a makeup person. So I do what I do. And I've been doing the same thing pretty much my whole life. And I don't really change it because I don't know how to do anything else. Ooh, foundation on. I also use RMS Beauty's powder for setting. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to do your eyes first because after this I do my eyes. And I never do it. And now I think I know why. You know, so you probably don't touch your face. But in order to do my eyes, I'm going to touch my face. And I'm going to ruin the makeup around my eyes. Oh, well. And then I use a random, I use a random blush. I have no idea who this is from. Lily Lolo. Good enough for me. A little liner and some mascara, and I'll probably call it a day. It's the hardest thing I do, all right? Ooh, ooh, good enough. I got it on my finger. That's always the easy side, because that's my dominant side. This side I usually am not good at. Hey, I actually did pretty good. It's gonna be a good day when you don't mess up your makeup. I'm gonna put on this blurring setting spray. This brand sent this to me somehow. I have no idea how they did it actually. I didn't give them my address. It just showed up at my door. But I like it. I like spraying something. It's called Indeed Laboratories. Right there. Nano set. Like I said, no idea how they sent it to me, but they did. All right, time to do this hair. Because I cut my hair, I now will have to do it every day because I can't really put it in like an easy ponytail. So it kind of forces me to have to do it. All I really do, and I probably need some sort of texture spray, and I'm pretty much just straightening it and like flipping it out. But if I bought like a cool texture spray, I probably could like, you know, fray it up a little because she gave me some really cool layers. And I'm ready for my day. Ba boom. So as you guys know, Iris just turned three months old and we want to see how big she is. We're taking guesses. How big is Iris? What do you think? 30 pounds. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say between 13 and 14. No, you gotta give like an exact number. That's a huge difference. Okay. I'm gonna lean more towards 14. Let's say that she's 13 and a half. 
13 and a half pounds. You can't just go with the number that I said. It's not my fault. I don't make the rules. I just play the game. All right, Iris, come on. 13.9, oh, 13.9. 13.9. 13.9 pounds. Wow, I think that means that you're pretty much right then. She was like basically 14 pounds. You're such a big girl. 14 pounds a chunk. All right, how big is Jackson? You wanna do it? All right. All right, how big is Jackson? Jackson really wants to do it now. 31 pounds. <gasps> I'm gonna say 30. 30? Yep. All right, don't move. Oh, you Four, have it in ounces. 495 ounces. Oh, that man. Pounds. Let's do it again, let's do it again. How big is the big boy Jackson? 31? 31. Wow, daddy was right. I knew I was right, 31 pounds. That's a big boy right there. 30 pounds of muscle right here, though. <laughs> we wanted to give a little update on Iris as she's three months old, and I feel like so much has changed, okay? She is literally the coolest baby, first of all, which we've already talked about. I thought like, you weren't cool, Jackson. You were amazing. No, no, yeah, but she is like so chill. She's like our really chill, laid back baby. She's a happy baby. She yes. smiles all the time. Every time she wakes up, big smile on her yes. face. And she totally loves to laugh. Like she loves smiling, laughing, and even like little giggles. I wouldn't say like full blown belly laughs, but definitely yeah. giggles. And the person of the three of us who can make her laugh the most is it's her this brother. one right here. Just <laughs> stares at her and she's like, Going crazy over She him. loves her brother. She loves all of us though, but she is just such a happy baby. Her biggest thing right now is she really wants to sit up and stand up, I feel like. Even though she's still working on her full head control, which I feel like is gonna be really good, that, she normally yeah, wants to sit up. That seat that we got for her in the last video, loves it. Yeah. She's gotten stronger from using it. Yeah, she's already improved so much on it. But yeah, she literally is just such a good baby. Her sleep has been a little iffy though. As soon as she turned three months old, I feel like her sleep took like a little bit of like a downward turn. Um, but it's still nowhere bad like other people have it. Like she wants to go back to sleep. She doesn't just like wake up for hours on end. Um, I will say that we're, we're up to about two wake ups, but she does sometimes sleep through the night. She's just really inconsistent right now. Well, she's going through a lot of awesome, so yeah. we just don't know what she's going through. Yeah, and her naps are still really iffy too. She takes 30 minute naps. I have been able to extend them a little bit to like 45 minutes to an hour, but like barely. So we are at Sprouts right now because I am on a mission to find something. Carlos has no idea what I'm looking for, okay? All I know is grape. No, it's <laughs> frozen fruit, okay? But it's like sour fruit. So I think it's grapes, mango, and something else. I don't know, but it's supposed to be at Sprouts. I'll be really disappointed if it's not here. You gonna come with me? We're gonna, me and Jackson are going inside the store and see what we can find. Okay, I'm also gonna just go like a little grocery shopping, but I really hope I can find this. I'd be really excited. Then we'll try it, we'll try it out. I think you guys are gonna love it. You're gonna love the mango one. I don't, I love fruit. I don't care what flavor it is. It's so good, you'll see. Well, I don't know if it's good. I just, it sounds good. Jackson, are you wearing slippers? Sprouts. <laughs> I look like mother of the year. Well, they didn't have it. That was extremely disappointing. Oh uh, well, yeah, that was super disappointing. I did not find what we needed. I literally searched and searched and searched and it did not have it. No. So that's a bummer. Maybe, <laughs> maybe another day. I maybe, guess it's not our thing. Maybe at a different sprout. I guess. And Jackson scored though. He got a little, uh, he got lots of stuff actually. While I was in there, I, he, he picked out a lot of things. I will give all of that. Here's everything I got from Sprouts. I got the fixings for smoothing because we've been on a smoothie hike. We got their really cool milk that they have here. These looked really fun. These are PB and J's. Oh, you, you wanna try, try one of these? You wanna try one? Yeah. yeah. I also got these pancake bites. We got some yummy popsicles. And just a few little yummy things. Don't show him those. Yeah, I know. He already knows. <laughs> Ooh, and I got the fixings to make crepes this week. I'm really excited for that. Frozen? Does it need to like defrost for a minute? Oh, it is frozen. <laughs> I have to like defrost for a little bit. All right. Have it for 30 In minutes. 30 minutes. <laughs> Can you wait 30 minutes? <laughs> it's a PB and J, but it's frozen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, it is chilly and rainy outside. We're headed out though. I took the baby down for a nap, and Jackson really wants to jump on the trampoline, even though it's a rainy disaster but he really wants me to jump on the trampoline with him because I'm just like super awesome and fun. Uh, I'm like the coolest person ever actually. <laughs> nah, I just like, we like to play a little game together and he really likes it. So we're gonna jump on the trampoline. All right, it's all wet in there. You sure about this? Bye. Yeah, don't step in it. Bye. 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 Bye.
good kick. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get up, I know. This is Dinosaur Jackson. Supposed to be. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Not Dinosaur Jackson. You know what you should do? <laughs> you should go find a dinosaur costume. <laughs> I know, he would love that probably. <laughs> it's good for your back, right? <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! Guitar Jackson! <laughs> Alright, so I remember seeing this trick with Jackson and it worked with him, but I can already tell it's not gonna work with her. <laughs> a lot. She just needs a little support. Now you can sit up all by yourself. Look nice. Does it make you feel like a big girl? She's a big happy. Girl. She's a happy girl. She's so happy. I'm really loving her hair today. <laughs> She's a happy girl. You can sit up all by yourself. I gotta put this pillow behind her. Cause that way she can. <laughs> Let's see. In case she falls back. Iris, you are so awesome. Look at you sitting up by yourself. We could just leave you here. We could just leave you there. you would be fine. Only when Jackson's sleeping. Yeah, only when Jackson, you can sit there, whatever you want. You look good right there. We can help her every once in a while. Yeah, that's what she wants to do. Jackson obviously did it earlier. Jackson sat up really early. I feel like Jackson was sitting up somewhere in the five months. Um, and usually it's like, I think six months, or even maybe he like in four and a half months. I don't know. It was pretty early for Jackson. Um, Iris is definitely taking her time more, but I can just tell that she wants to. Like, I know she would really like to, and I think she'll be really happy when she can start sitting up. Yeah. She's also been reaching for uh, toys, which has been pretty oh. a new thing also that we did we talk about earlier. I feel like, I don't know, like she is starting to reach a little bit. She, she wants it. Like, she just can't figure out yet how to grab it. She did it on the other seat. She was grabbing her toys in front of her. Here, Iris, you wanna hold this? Any of these? Any of these cars you want, Iris? Or is that just my son who wants all these cars? <laughs> How about some cars? She's girl toys. I was just like, thanks for the trucks. Oh, she went for it. Yeah. She's grabbing it. There she goes. There you go. Must be weird having hands and not know how to use them. Like, she must look be at, so look, confused. She's trying to right now. She's like, how do I do this? Oh, it's so difficult. Things, wait, when you're ready, this truck is all yours. You won't tell Jack.